como que debería poner música o algo. Un ratito esto. Puede ser. Yeah, we should start speaking in English. Ooh, yeah, we should right. start speaking oh, yeah. in English. So... Yeah. All right. All right, come on. So Bruno, do you, do you know English? Do you know do you know hamburgers? Do you know Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. This, Disney and shit. <laughs> Disney and shit, yeah. 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 All right. So I'm like like joining YouTube right now and <laughs> uh, we have these ads. Do you hear this? Not as much. Mm, mm, not that much. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how people are online right now. We have um I can give <laughs> <laughs> finally, 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 finally. Well, <laughs> you still have one left, Gabriel. We are, we are free, you know. You have to collect them. It's like Pokemon, like, but like Peruvian version. <laughs> <laughs> We're only free. By the, way, by the way, this chocolate for the quarantine. <laughs> indispensable. This right? chocolate for your quarantine. Amazing. Do, do you get money for doing this, Bruno? For the chocolate, no. No. I, I actually, I actually wish more, more chocolate, more than money, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is like choco endorsements right now. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, for, for the ones that are looking right at us, at us right now, uh, you have the the chat room here. At the right side of the screen, so you can start like writing. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna be making some polls, and and you can uh, leave your questions here in the ask a question section. Uh, so please please feel free to <laughs> to leave some questions. Um, I think that we can already start. Already. Yeah, already yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> So hi everyone, my name is Jose. I'm the executive director for the Jingo Project. Uh, we're a musical collective here in Lima, Peru. And uh, about a month ago, we are starting to uh, try to apply data science to music. And the best way to start doing this is to have these relevant conversations that no one's talking about. <laughs> and yeah. And well, we all know that, that the COVID-19 has been making a huge impact on the music industry, but no one is talking about how this affects uh, music students around the world. Yeah, in terms of um, how are you practicing right now? Um, what, what activities uh, that you normally do has been canceled and stuff like that. So uh, as we wait for Fede to join us, I would like to present uh, Bruno here and Diego. Uh, guys, I, I don't know if you can um, introduce yourselves. <laughs> okay. Bruno, you start. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, my name is Bruno. I'm uh, Jose's brother. Uh, well, I'm a drummer, and currently I'm uh, studying in the Netherlands in the Prince Klaus Conservatory in Groningen. And it's uh, it's my first year. I'm a first year bachelor. Uh, I'm also a drummer of Infusion and some other uh, musical projects in Peru that I cried when I left. But okay, it's okay. It's a thing you have to do in order to keep growing musically. So yeah. <laughs> Diego, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Diego. Uh, I met uh, I met Bruno uh, there in Groningen, Groningen, as they say, and. Uh, I'm also a drummer, so you got two drummers today, and it's probably the worst thing ever to talk about music in general. <laughs> yeah, too loud. So, too loud. You can find some stuff that I did on YouTube with uh, bands like uh, Red Bricks Foundation and uh, One Shot Brega and 
at the moment I'm playing with a with a friend of mine. We're trying to build this the, this new project. So uh, it's it's a it's a work in progress. So this is it basically. So cool. We're, we're uh, still waiting for Fede. There is a, a guitar player here from from Peru, um, but I I will introduce myself as well. My name is Jose. Um, from a music standpoint, uh, I'm a guitar player. So so guys, please shut up. I am still tuning my guitar. <laughs> uh, I, I I am also in the band that Bruno is here. Um, Infusion. I, I like to to experiment a lot with uh, world music. And, and I love making arrangements. So yes, I, I am not a professional music, musician, uh, but but I still like to to learn from whichever point I can find. So guys, um, let's start talking about uh, the first point in the in the agenda. That is, um, how has your practice changed? And I don't know if if we can start with Diego in, in terms of yeah. uh, how was your practice usually before uh, before this pandemic and how it has changed and how it is now, how is uh, one day in Diego's life, for example, right? So let's yeah, do yeah. this. And we are now hearing, oh Ooh. yeah, Mama, Ooh, Mama Mia TV. Right. Yeah, all right. Wow. <laughs> On the big screen, wow. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh, uh, sorry, uh, go, go, go. No, 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 tell me, tell me. No, I, I am, uh, for, for the people that are watching this, I am basically, you have this green button here in the bottom um, that says the Jingo project, but now I am putting uh, Diego's information. So if you want to follow Diego, you can press the button that says follow Diego and you will follow Diego. Yeah. <laughs> It's very straightforward. So, <laughs> <Follow me. laughs> yeah, and you can say follow me. So, Diego, the screen is yours. Let's go, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so, I um, uh, I was uh, I took part of uh, the Erasmus project. You know, this uh, this fall. So, um, I got used to practice every day, basically, because uh, in Groningen the not having a drum set, you know, at my place, of course. Uh, I had to go to the conservatory every day, so uh, I went there every day. I had lessons, and then I could book my room and stay there for one hour uh, and, and practice. So I, I was practicing every day, that that for sure. Um, here in in Roma, I'm lucky enough to have my drum set here. Of course, it's with be, living in uh, an apartment is uh, is muted, so it's. It's a bit the the uh, the other face of uh, the of the thing, you know. The, um, I can't play my drums as uh, as loud as I'd like it or as much as I'd like it, because of course there are some rules of coexistence. So um, I have to I have to mind I have to mind, you know, the the, the other people living in the building. So uh, I, I I can practice. I'm uh, I've been really lucky about that because uh, I can practice kind of whenever I want. Uh, with a limited drum set, but it's it's super fine. Uh, uh, I've been I've been super lucky. The 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 the, um, the bad thing of the of this pandemic is uh, of having this uh, easy access to the to the drum set is that I'm uh, I don't have that much self discipline, you know. So I've I've got it here. So I, I say, yeah, okay, I can stay on my phone like mm, just five more minutes, you know, because uh, I can practice whenever it's here, and it's it's getting harder and harder, you know, to to okay. to, to, to keep the self discipline. That that's the yeah. that's the bad thing. Uh, Gabriel here is asking if you were practicing before the pandemic. So, <laughs> <laughs> what what could you say about that? <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's uh, he's a really funny man, uh, but I'm not gonna say I'm not, I'm not gonna dignify that that uh, that question with an answer. Oh, 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 damn, oh, damn. Woo. Um, um, Diego, uh, I, I know that that for drummers, um, oh, let me let me uh, set this screen up. Uh, I know that for drummers, the it can be particularly difficult because uh, mainly because for uh, 
because of the logistics, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Having a drum set uh, that is a very acoustic instrument, you know, uh, it, it's, it can, can be uh, really hard. And I know, for example, that some drummer friends I have uh, are using uh, this electric, electronic battery, uh, drum set. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because I, I know, I, I know that it's not the same, but what do you think about uh, having that as, as an option? Yeah, it's a, it's in times like this, it's a, it's a great option because uh, you can connect it to your computer and just play with and, you know, have you're having a lesson and they can your teacher can hear perfectly what you're playing and whatever. Um, but I, I had my my electronic drum set, but I decided to sell it because I I started to uh, dislike, you know, the 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 physical thing. I just wanted my drums, my, my drum set with uh, with the real physical space of a drum set. Uh, so I, I bought mutes, uh, I bought mesh heads, and uh, I'm accepting this. You know, I, I, it's not gonna it's not gonna sound like a like a real drum set, but I mean, it's it's I I think it's better. Uh, and I think that also uh, the music genre you play it's it's a uh, a variable, right? I don't know what what kind of music do you play. Do you play like uh, jazz? Sweet jazz. <laughs> I went to uh, Fremingen yeah. to to study some to study some jazz, but I'm not like you know a, j a jazz drummer. I I wouldn't consider myself a jazz drummer. Yeah, because I, I am thinking about, for example, hard rock um, uh, drummers, and <laughs> and I think that uh, or or metal, for example, metal drummers, and and, and they probably are are having a a hard time right now. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel here says uh, that you play solder music. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> it's a bar. <laughs> some some inside jokes, you know. There's a there's a there's a yeah. place in Groningen called uh, called Solder uh, where uh, nobody plays jazz because uh, yeah. <laughs> then no no conservatory people can go in there. Basically, it's we were there. <laughs> we were all there. Okay. Yeah, but we wrote that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, Bruno, uh, I don't know if we, if we can, uh, if you can talk about right now uh, about uh, how has this, and I know firsthand how is this affecting you. But if you can, if you can share uh, with us. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, for me, it was a huge uh, change this pandemic in my practice because I also have a drum set here uh, and same as Diego I mean I, I had to to go every day to the conservatory and actually I uh, if I look it back I just spent all the day in the conservatory practicing or I don't know hanging out or, or studying it I mean that was my life uh, so I think that this uh, pr new practice that I have, can be separated in like two two timelines the or two moments. I mean, the moment where the conservatory was closed and I couldn't uh, access to any drum set, and uh, when the conservatory opened again just for practice, and then, then I, I could practice again. Uh, and what I acknowledged is that uh, when I didn't. Uh, I uh, didn't have access to a drum set. Uh, I was really a mess. I, I wasn't productive at all. Uh, I actually there was uh, even a day that I felt that I was just uh, I didn't was a, a musician anymore because I, I couldn't play my instrument and it was really frustrating for me actually. Uh, I just had a drum set here with a cajon, a snare drum, and a ride. Okay. And yeah, I, I played it every once in a while, but it was really frustrating. And uh, I think that's the thing about being a, a musician. I mean, you're, you're so connected to your body oh, that, well, when okay. you, that when you don't have an access to, to that thing that connects you to your body, then you start to, at least for me, I, I maybe start to, to collapse a little bit. Uh, yeah, but for me it was a really huge improvement when I got myself into a drum set again because the conservatory opened. Uh, so I started practicing, and it was like all of a sudden I had access to the instrument, and boom, 
uh, I was productive again. It was just automatic. Okay. Uh, yeah, but th I mean, that's that's the thing. Find find a way. If you don't have an access to your instrument, still kind of find a way to to still be be productive or challenge yourself. And yeah, I, I think adaptation is it's a huge word right now in this time. Uh, same as Diego. I mean, even if he has a, a drum set in his place, he still has to adapt uh, to his surroundings. Uh, okay. So yeah, that, that's that's also what I what I'm 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 doing. And well, uh, in recent times, I had this really lucky card because I helped a friend. Uh, I think th there's Fede. Yeah. Fede. Yeah. Yeah. Are you there? What? <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, sorry, go uh, but well, I, I was uh, helping a friend, Elon. Diego, you remember Elon? Yeah, 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 of course. Yes. So, well, the bottom line is that she was in Finland and all her staff was here and she couldn't uh, take uh, her staff back because of the borders. Uh, but then uh, she uh, found a way into uh, with a company to bring uh, her all her things back to her country. But uh, she needed some friends to pack all her her belongings. And she asked me, and I, I said, "Yeah, okay, of course I, I can help you." And she said, "Okay, and by the way, I have a piano here. If you want it, you can just take it." And I was like, shit, what the fuck, really? <laughs> you you are just gonna give me a piano? And he just gave me a piano. And it so was still sex back in there. Yeah, it's so sexy. And now now and now I have it here and it's I mean it's just amazing. And th that's also an important thing that in, in your own space, like uh organize the space that you have in order to to have these little like uh routines if you like in in your day because for me that that's the way i organize my the space that i have for example i mean i only have a room uh but here is the couch so in my brain i like uh accustom my brain to to say okay this is the part where you chill you can watch a series you can eat whatever you just chill here the bed is just for sleeping of course and this place the, the place that i have the piano on is the place that i'm really productive i mean when i'm here when i'm there although it's just i don't know two steps uh aside of where i am right now that's the space that i use to practice and that's really important to me i mean the, my brain is just accustomed to that is that space is, is for practicing and i spend a lot of time there actually and I don't watch series. I don't. Uh, it's way easier to not get distracted if you have these spaces to accommodate yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to move here. This uh, Bruno, you have you have uh, talked about many many interesting points here. Um, but but first, um, uh, guys, if you want to follow Bruno, you have now this button that says follow Bruno. And if you click the button, follow Bruno, you will follow Bruno. So it's amazing <laughs> what you can do with technology right now. Yeah. Um, Bruno, you, you have talked about adaptation. That is, that is a, a yeah. very important aspect. And, and I think that it is very pre-COVID. Um, you know that this with this uh, globalized uh, world where you can travel much often that, than several years ago, for example, um, some instruments are, are taking much more preponderance. For example, the ukulele, <laughs> it's very portable, right? So you can move around a lot with it. I, I have known several drummers that are using now the Peruvian cajon, for example, as yeah. part of a new drum set. Yeah. 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 Um, the other part was uh, about the space. You know mm -hmm. how I was uh, I was in a meet in a meeting talking about um, a few days ago about uh, wellness here in the in these uh, COVID, COVID times, you know, um, and one aspect that I that I uh, focused on uh, as an industrial engineer was uh, your own space in terms of, uh, for example, thinking about creativity. 
I have reordered several things here in my in my in my bedroom because, for example, uh, I used to get more creative if if I have a a, a space where I can walk around. Yeah. yeah, because that's the way I think, <laughs> and 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 having like uh, or adapting your personal space in terms of 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 how you 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 adapt your thought your thoughts, for example, is very important. Uh, you also talked about um, kind of the. Uh, you both talked about the, the availability of having an instrument mm -hmm. around. Uh, here in Peru, we have the. We are now in a. We're, well, we're in quarantine, right? But uh, in the nights, we have the uh, toque de queda is a curfew, curfew, right? I have known um, several friends here that, for example, uh, they have their instruments in a studio that is this is is not in their in their places. So uh, the curfew started, uh, and they uh, they had their instruments in another <laughs> in another house, in another place. Uh, I have the luck. I am very lucky to have my guitar, my bass here. So, so I can play um, sweet, sweet jazz music here, and, and that's very, very good. Yeah, um, I, I, I am, I am looking here also the chat, uh, guys. You don't forget that you can. We are reading the the chat here, so you can leave your questions. Yeah, um, Anna, Anna is here uh, talking about something very interesting. That is um, the distractions that you get from from practicing at home. Uh, personally, for example, I here have my dog Benito that I am, for example, practicing or or even recording here, and and then my dog comes around. <laughs> but I don't know if you if you can relate to it, guys. Well, not not with a dog, uh... <laughs> but yes, I mean I I, I have a, a roommate, so also this uh... how do you say oof. The word in English, uh, what? like living together, the right. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 the, the yeah, convivencia. How do you say convivencia in English? Uh, <clears throat> like the chemistry <laughs> between you two. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not like romantically. It, it, it is just a, an omnipresent figure here. I don't see him, but I can really. I just hear him, and he's like, well, but it's like I mean, a, it's like they, a very quiet dog. <laughs> it's like the issues that you have when you live together with some other person are also distractions. Not not every time, but uh, sometimes. I mean, you have to. I don't know. Uh, watch some things for the house or whatever. Uh, yeah, those kind of distractions as well. Okay. Um, uh, Feather, are you there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just yes. don't have my, I don't have a, a video. Don't worry. Now your, now your profile picture is the in the big screen. <laughs> so uh, I, I think that you can uh, introduce yourself. And okay. uh, yeah, first, first that. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Federico. Uh, I'm from Lima. Uh, I know Pepe and Bruno for from just like the musical scene here and some some friends um, from music school. I study guitar. Um, actually, I'm on the last uh, year, like this should be the last year or maybe like second to last um but yeah i i already finished my music studies and just like needing to complete some like the thesis and and that ending stuff from university um so i'm a guitar player i, I also like playing some other instruments like piano and drums and i'm also a composer and yeah just performer um yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, yeah, go, 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 go on, sorry. No, yeah, just gonna say and right now just um in the middle of, of the semester uh, attending to virtual lessons uh, from university is not easy at all. Uh <laughs> but <laughs> it's been going all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, um, 
Gabriel here uh, said that there is too many Italian references. <laughs> and yeah. by the way, if you want to follow Fede, you have now this green button that says, Mamma Mia, follow Fede. And if you <laughs> press the button, you can follow Fede. Um, Fede, we were, we were just talking about uh, how has your practice, your routine changed uh, due to, to, this, um, to this pandemic? I, I don't know if you can you can uh, talk us about um, how was your your average day as a guitar player before before COVID and nowadays. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I think it's it hasn't changed like that much. Mainly, what has changed is um, rehearsals; like they just disappeared. Um, But for me, like my my study routine is super um, related to my workspace. So I have set up this studio room in my home with the wonderful help of my parents. And so I have this place where I'm um, alone, don't bother anyone playing loud or anything. So it hasn't really changed um, that much. Probably what what changes is like the dynamic between going out and coming back to practice. So like right now I can just practice all day, which is not something I do, but, <laughs> but okay. like, I mean, yeah, I, I think, I tend to to spend my days like focusing on university, um, but whenever I, I I have the time, which is most of the time, uh, I, I just put on a tune and start playing with it. I don't know. Just um, my practice routine is. I think I'm a very disorganized person, but just like uh, I know, I have to do it every day. I just like do a little bit of it like every time of the day like at the morning I tend to spend like 40 minutes maybe a little more if I'm feeling really into the exercises um but then like go go eat something come back do some of my thesis then practice I don't know I think that hasn't really changed that much for me but okay. you were before you were talking about distractions so yeah that i think that's like the main part for me here like um i tend to to practice with a metronome um and that's uh, connected through my computer um so the distractions are there like the computer is the main distraction um <laughs> yeah So I just tend to close the things that I, that like social media. Um, but yeah, like I'm not too strict on myself, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it's important to not add uh, much more stress than, <laughs> yeah. than we already have, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's, that's, that's very important. And, and guys, uh, We are we are now um, making this poll. If you go to the polls option, uh, you have this question about if if the COVID has made a huge impact on your music daily routine. We are now having these th uh, three votes saying that yes, it has. And guys, uh, I, do, I I know that this point isn't in the agenda, but um, you know that music has several aspects, right? Uh, you have uh, rhythmics, you have the melody, harmony, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, instrumental technique, and, and so. Um, I don't know if, for example, um, the COVID 19 has made you switch your focus uh, from one point to another. For example, I am not uh, practicing technique, and I know I should, but. I am not practicing much more technique right now. Uh, for example, this has made me focus on arrangements. I am I am working uh, remotely with some, some musicians here and starting to make an arrangement. I, I don't know if you have switched also your focus from from one from one music uh, item, for example, from 
or, or topic uh, to another one. Yeah, you want to go first, Diego, or? It's, a, it's the same. Yeah, no, you go. OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, uh, well, my, my topic has changed uh, because now I'm practicing a, a lot of technique. And I spend, I don't know, if, if I if I'm practicing, practicing like three or four hours a day, maybe I'm spending two, two and a half on on just uh technique i'm i'm actually also developing some uh like proper uh rudiments no not rudiments like exercises but just for myself because uh that's also a thing i mean this uh this situation has also made me realize that one best teacher is you i mean you are you're your own best teacher actually yeah. and because you you're the one that knows for sure uh what's your weakest side or your weakest foot if you like mm -hmm. uh yeah. so i think at least for me the 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 best way to cope with that is come up with my own exercise mm -hmm. and of course it's it's really nice to have uh, a good teacher actually with with anna uh we uh, some days ago we had this conversation that uh, it's really nice to have a, a, a good teacher for your instrument. Uh, but I think that it's really important to to just realize that you aren't your own best teacher. And any other teacher that you have is just a guide. And of course, it's really nice to have a guide and like a, an external eye uh, mm -hmm. besides you that, that, I don't know, ha, has more experience than you and uh, watches you and maybe uh having you realize some aspects that you that, that you are not seeing in your plane but uh for me the bottom line is that uh you are your own best teacher uh yeah so that's that's a good thing that this situation has made me realize and also if i may add uh actually and i say i'm always hungry when i start practicing and that's actually, although it sounds kind of a bit funny, for me, it's really a huge thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very, I, I'm hungry all the time. So, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> you're at home. So, you have, I don't know, the kitchen just on the other door, door I don't know. And it's really a huge dis distraction. And uh, a way that I found to, to deal with that is okay, I'm hungry, but I, uh, in my head, I say to myself, Okay, you're hungry, but then you're uh, finishing this exercise, and then you go to the kitchen to have some food and treat yourself. It's like a gift that you, that you give to yourself. It's a very psychological reward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like a reward because you're hungry, but you have to. I mean, you, you have to find a way. <laughs> Too much trouble in this cup. Yeah, well. It's like, you, I don't know if you have seen this meme, but uh, there are people that use uh, gummy bears. Uh, as a reward yeah. for, for getting to one page or two pages to read when they're reading a book, for example. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really good. And actually, I, at least for me, the food tastes a little bit better because I have, I, I have already <laughs> what I wanted to do, and then I eat, and it's like, oh, yes, I'm eating because I deserve this shit, and it's wow, and it's amazing. <laughs> so that, that's like a way how I cope with hungriness as well <laughs> yeah uh Theo, what about you i don't do one thing in my life uh before breakfast so when i get up first thing that i have to do is breakfast so i yeah eating is not the problem <laughs> so, so yeah no, um, being a drummer for me is uh means that uh, i have to be technically prepared and physically prepared overall you know because uh, if I don't, um, if I have to warm myself to warm up before even you know think of uh, of practicing or uh, yeah that kind of stuff, for example, <laughs> you know my wrists all the tendons that are in the arms. Sorry, this was even yeah yeah yeah. yeah. This, but this it's not really related. related. So what I don't know what you're you're doing right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a warm up exercise, you know, because uh, I have to be physically warmed up to to, to play properly, and so okay. it's uh, uh, it's it's the first thing that I have to do when I when I sit down on on my drums. Uh, I have to I have to warm up, and that means also do uh, you know thirty minutes of technique. So okay, it's that that is the one of the most important things that I that I practice every day every day. And as Fede was saying, for example, I may mainly uh, practice technique in, in the mornings. For example, first thing that I do, and maybe then after lunch, uh, in the afternoon, I try to maybe play something or uh, do some or exercise with uh, some drums, with whole drums and stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, Fede, what about you? Uh, are you? I think you're around? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I've been focusing lately on my right hand technique, mostly. Um, like some picking exercises have been my focus for the last past weeks. Um, but also, I don't know. I just, I think the, the question actually was about <laughs> changing like um your focus from one aspect of music to the other i don't know i i, I think yeah. my <laughs> and then it changed to it doesn't change, it doesn't change. <laughs> no i i i don't i don't think so i i think previously um i think it always changes i think previously i didn't focus that much on some kind of exercises that i'm focusing right now um and about the food i don't know <laughs> I mean, I always have something going on, <laughs> like something I, I'm, I have like a treat for me. Yeah, I think that's like a psychological um, strategy, strategy that works for me too. I mean, just having some, um, some piqueos, <laughs> like some snacks for after, for after practice. Like, yeah, that's, that's yeah. My, my way to go as well. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Diego. Diego mentioned that uh, he he can't start without breakfast. I, I for example, uh, me, I I can't start without my coffee. So uh, I'm <laughs> yeah. just a, a big entity before before uh, my morning <laughs> coffee. Uh, but it's very important. You, Bruno, also mentioned this this thing about uh, an external eye. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, for example, I'm I'm I like uh, to very I like to be very. Um, independent in a way, like learning uh, what I feel uh, about mm -hmm. in the moment. But I think, for example, having a teacher or a mentor in, in several points in your musical career is important. Uh, for example, I, uh, I was taking uh, some lessons with uh, Luis, Luis Linares, that is a very mm -hmm. good basis here in, in, in Peru. Uh, we were uh, studying about Creole music and, and Latin jazz Mm -hmm. For example, and you know that for us musicians, it's very important not, not to get so so, in, so much information about new technique and stuff. That is very important, uh, but uh, getting exposed to new music as well is very important too. Mm -hmm. and, and for example, like uh, being exposed right now to, to Latin jazz standards has been uh, very rewarding for me. And, and I think that's very more important part. But well, uh, I would like to talk about the second the second topic here in the agenda. That is um, the recordings that you, Bruno, uh, <laughs> brought here as a as a topic. That is uh, recordings as a means of interaction in, in this um, yeah in, in these times. Basically, the fact that uh, remote recordings are now an option. If I think about ten years ago, for example. Um, having a music studio or, or a home studio basically uh, wasn't much uh, a thing like it is right now. Uh, we mm. all, uh, still we, we have very good cell phones right now, for example. I know that several music, uh, musicians are making uh, great work just recording with their cell phones. Uh, Bruno, what, what do you have to say about that? Let's switch well, to uh, Peruvian Drummer TV. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in the cinema. Yeah, well, uh, the main difference is between uh, recordings and, and ensembles, right? Uh, 
So yeah, I think I mean, the interaction that you can have playing with an actual band in a real life situation is just, uh, I mean, you, you can't top that in terms of recording. I mean, although mm -hmm. you, you, you interact in a way uh, recording yourself, uh and then do like a, a song with tracks whatever uh that's a, a really big thing that i that i miss and it's uh a little bit difficult to to cope with uh because you, you don't have uh another musicians to to interact because you know music is a language so I think the best way to to learn the language is to speak the language with with someone else, and that that's that's jamming, that's that's playing together. Uh, so I think that's a huge uh, hole uh, that we most music music students have to to deal with, right? Uh, but you know that uh, an artist is not only an artist; it's the artist and technology. Uh, yeah. In the words of Maria Tegui, uh, a really nice Fidos, uh, Peruvian philosopher. So yeah, we have we have technology nowadays that allows us to interact in a way. Hmm. Uh, so you can also like discover or find nice aspects or nice things to learn from when you record yourself. Uh, I found out that when when I'm doing a, a tune with friends, I come really really specific on on what am I doing. I, I mean, like my my awareness just expands a lot, uh, and sometimes it's really like frustrating because you just started to record, and but then you do something you don't like, and then you stop recording. And it's like fuck, I have to do it again and do it again and do it again. It's mm -hmm. kind of I don't know. You have to, to to learn how to draw the line in that. Like, okay, this is not a mistake. Maybe that's not what I intended, but it sounds nice. So it's like the technology also allows you to be that external eye that I was talking about before, actually, mm -hmm. because you are seeing yourself re uh, in a recording. So it's like a a really personal process. You no, know? so. Uh, Although you have this really big hole into not interacting with other musicians, uh, you have these other benefits uh, thanks to this technology nowadays. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I would like to switch from Peruvian Drummer TV to, oh my God, Rome TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I, I... <laughs> I agree with Bruno in, in the meanings of, uh, you know, b being able to, to record yourself and uh, send your recording to, to, to your friends that, that you're playing with, you know, so they can play along with it or you can do some, some, some cool video together. Uh, but to me, it, it's, it's a bit frustrating because uh, um, I, I really don't like this, this way of, of, of working. Uh, uh, given that it may be some some kind of some kind of work, because uh, I mean we, we study for to 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 work with with this with this thing, so uh, it's it's a bit frustrating, you know. Uh, I don't like to 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 record myself uh, by myself, you know, uh, being alone like that. It's uh, uh, it, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. Also, because. Uh, you, you don't. I like to to interact with, uh, of course, with the, the other musicians, and so it's uh, not having them in in the same room. It's uh, it's a bit weird to me because um, I don't know if what I'm doing is suitable for the for the for the thing that we're doing, or uh, if they might like it or they don't like it. Because if they don't like something that I'm doing, they might. Be doing you know some some weird face like mm, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. yeah you know so some so some some pointing some pointing fingers and stuff like that uh, which is not <laughs> possible being by myself in my house so it's uh, uh it's something it's not something that i like i like to interact i like to 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 mess up stuff with the with the musicians that i'm playing with 
uh, to to solve that together, you know, okay. to communicate both verbally okay. and musically. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Fede. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's it's kind of the same for me. I have found it kind of frustrating. Um, so I I used to do it even before um, COVID, like recording myself and just watching through it and analyzing um, what can I improve on, but like having that as the only means of interaction with other musicians like yeah it's very limiting it's very frustrating also for me it was frustrating because i had like this issue with my computer so i couldn't use any music program or anything for like a little more than a month so i have been like yeah frustrated for that period of time because I, I couldn't like edit anything I recorded um so yeah I I, I don't know I, I don't like it <laughs> I have done it but but it's not enough <laughs> I, I miss playing with other people in the moment yeah like like you were saying I mean the interaction with other musicians is like the faces or <laughs> the feel of the moment is just you have to imagine it while recording by yourself you you cannot it yes. can happen if you know your friends like the people you're playing with <coughs> um but it's still not yeah it's not enough <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I i'm yeah. kind of pessimistic about that <laughs> no you're being realistic yeah yeah can, can i can i just add something sure yeah, that um, you know, uh, playing with people is also the way to sum up uh, your skills and you know to to really improve as a musician, because you you interact with the ideas of other musicians and being by yourself is uh, you can only watch yourself, look look yourself uh, after you've recorded, and I don't know, you can like or not like what you did, but uh, it's still your ideas that. You, you you thought of it, so it's you're not gonna be uh, that uh, able to to change what you think, maybe without mm -hmm. some other people. Yes, uh, I think that the the basically there is this concept of of uh, real time feedback that you get uh, when you're playing with another musician, or mm -hmm. for example when you're playing live. We we, we can have this right now. Uh, that term of of interacting you know, with the audience uh, in real time. Yeah. For example, we, we at the yeah. Jingo Project made uh, our first uh, live stream concert last week. And it was very strange at the beginning to, to have the musician uh, play a song and that there were no claps at the end. Yeah. So, so we tried to, okay, guys, if you liked it, please uh, write in the chat. Uh, it was kind of fun yeah. because it's, yeah. it was like a, a workaround, you know? Uh, there were people like, uh, writing clap, <laughs> they were there were people like uh, sending these clap emojis, and it yeah. was not the same, but it is another type of of interaction that, that we are adapting. Um, yeah. I, I told you about my personal focus on arrangements, um, so I am not having that bad time. Um, I don't know if you have if you're in, in the same thing, but uh, for example, these uh, these COVID times. It, uh, has made me uh, get in touch with people that I didn't talk about regularly. So uh, these video calls with people that I I haven't spoke with with I don't know several years ago is is happening in music also. So I, I am making starting to make arrangements with musicians that I would not normally um, get in touch with. Uh, right. So that's kind of different, but I don't know. Everyone has its its different focus. Um, there is one that one very interesting question here in, in the in the ask a question section. Uh, I can read it to you. So there is this question for drummers. Okay, have you guys ever experienced feeling rhythm outside of music, for example, in cooking, or in waking up at certain hours? or cleaning some area every now and then. 
If so, do you guys feel like working so closely uh, to Rhythm in Music World has helped you uh, catch the hang of getting in rhythm uh, in certain things that are not straightly musical, but it's faster? That's very complex, but I think it's a very, very interesting question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hmm. Really abstract question as well. <laughs> I have some points. I, I, I can I can go first if you, if you want. I am not a drummer, but I, I like to think myself as an arranger. Um, for example, I, I I think that the the first thing, one of the first things that that uh, were invented uh, was rhythm. Uh, when when us humans learn to walk. And we gave our fourth, for, uh, our first four steps. That was the the very first line in music ever made. I think the moment uh, one started walking, that was uh, our four. That was our first tempo, you know. And and I, for example, I I can I can sense rhythm uh, in several ways. I was <laughs> I was yesterday uh, petting my dog. You know, I, I like to, when my dog comes around, I like, oh, good dog, good dog. And I was like, and I started like playing samba and my dog was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I do it all the time. I, I like to think in, in musical terms, even not, even if I am not in an instrument, uh, for example. No, I, And now, what, what do you think about that, guys? Yeah. For me, being a drummer and dealing with rhythm uh, all the time is also building confidence because the the drum set is a really loud instrument. <laughs> uh, so it's really easy to hear a mistake when you do it because it sounds, it sounds a lot. <laughs> uh, so practicing with uh, a metronome every day and building some confidence also reflects on how you and on your attitude if you like in just everyday common life uh just being secure about yourself and i don't know having this uh building of of groove for example uh this drummer uh, nate nate smith nate wood yeah who's that yeah. oh both are drummers yeah i think yeah, yeah I, I, but who, who's the drummer that, that has uh, this album that is only drum patterns nate, nate smith nate smith, uh, nate yeah. smith. Yeah. okay so when you're a drummer and and you're you're just playing by yourself i mean for example you're, you're in a in a gig but you uh have this section that you're not soloing but you're just grooving okay that's actually i mean to 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 accomplish that it uh, acquires some some confidence in your in your playing some some flow that you have to to keep going in order to make to to still make the the groove go so yes. i can say that uh when you reach that i think uh at least unconsciously this motion this constant motion this flow is uh also reflected in in your personality maybe some sometimes uh or waves on the coast yes uh maybe sometimes it can it can uh get you a little bit stubborn because i i can tell i'm a little bit stubborn in, in some ideas that i have but that's also why you're a musician and why you also build adaptation so uh I think this this constant constant motion is also reflected in in your attitude in in the way you you live everyday life. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm always thinking about about rhythms. You know, and in the morning when I brush my teeth, you know, I'm going uh, like with some Bruno Mars. You know. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. It's a, yeah, it's it's a, it's it's a natural thing for me. I, I don't know. It's a, I'm I'm always trying to to, uh, to yeah yeah <laughs> to, to to make some rhythms to to make some uh, some drum parts with uh, with whatever. I was the the most annoying you know classmate because I was always on the on the table with the, with my 
<laughs> you know, be be in the same, be be in the desk with the uh, with with my clan, and yeah, it, it wasn't pleasant to do you know six hours of of school with me on the side. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I always try to to incorporate, you know, rhythm in, in what I do. Even even in my studying, for example, that that's what's uh, that, that's what I'm missing the most, you know, have been so um, laid back these days. I'm missing the rhythm. I'm missing the, you know, even if I I can get up really late and I don't have I don't have some pressure to do stuff. Yeah. So even 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 when I when I wake up, I wanna feel the rhythm. I wanna I wanna do something. I wanna be okay. starting something. I wanna be starting something. You know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, wait, like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and someone said and someone answered. Um, like we can also hear melody and harmony and textures and dynamic outside of music. I think, like, getting into music just opens. Uh, uh, like an endless um, array of possibilities like just hearing anything in the street can be like source of inspiration right like related to music in some way like some text some texture you hear that's not coming from a musical instrument can also inspire you to translate it Or like like these that these videos that people make that are awesome that you transcribe some scene from a, a show like mm. that's not musical like doesn't have instruments but it's musical like it has a rhythm to it right like a conversation it's I don't know it's uh -huh. it's super interesting mm -hmm. relating everyday stuff to just your own imagi music imagination right yeah. I don't know if you have came across this question uh, that several people like to ask that if you can imagine a world without music. <laughs> I know. Yeah, for me, that's, for me, that's impossible. Uh, and I think that they are only thinking in terms of, of songs. For example, Anna here says that uh, the, the heartbeat is also an early, early rhythm. And I, wa I was talking about you, about the, the only fact of walking where, where you mm -hmm. can have a rhythm too. So, Uh, in, the music is always there. What, what could disappear is our, our ability ability to to like sense it, to to like understand it. But uh, for example, imagining a world without music is, for example, uh, erasing the, the the very concept of repetition. For example, yeah. And if you erase that, you are basically erasing everything in life. <laughs> so it's like not uh, only thinking about oh, world without music, only, only without songs. I, I think not. It, is erasing life itself. So uh, I would like to uh, talk about the, the last topic we have in the agenda. There is um, very, very important uh, due to um, the, the, the building importance that is going around uh, mental health and, and, and that kind of things that is about uh, frustration here. Uh, how are you feeling right now and how are you coping with frustration and And that's that that several that stuff because um, I, I had this uh, meeting about uh, wellness, and for example, we, we are now uh, most of us in, in in very small rooms. That's that's a fact, yes. But also, we are living uh, much faster right now mm -hmm. because life is moving faster. So so we are in a in, in a world where, where um, you are living faster, and then comes this pandemic and says you have to stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like having a very hyperactive hamster, like <laughs> I don't know, yeah. like confined <laughs> in, a, in a very in a very small space. So I don't know what what do you have to, to say about that? For example, Bruno. Yeah, well, with this hamster, <laughs> it's, really, it's really tricky to deal with because uh, when you're not not feeling well, for example, me when I couldn't get the chance to to be in a drum set uh of course my my brain was just beating myself out i mean <laughs> it was you're not uh practicing at all you're not doing any harmony or theory exercise or you're not doing your homework uh but 
I mean, I, I was frustrated and I, I also needed the time to process that, to process this new uh, environment. So I think you, you have to find a way to say to this hamster, man, chill, chill down, please, because I need the time to, to process this, this, all these new changes. I mean, uh, and that's also, I think the patience that you that you need, and I think it's uh, essential to uh, upgrade yourself in in your way of playing. I mean, you're not uh, you're not gonna be you're not not, not gonna turn from zero to zero in just one day. I mean, it's just a constant a constant process of of self developing. So you really need to be patient with yourself if if you want to be a, a musician. I mean. It's just a, a never-ending process, and that, that's also really uh, in, important thing to acknowledge. Actually, that is this path is just a never-ending path. It, it doesn't have a destiny. It's just all about the the walk, the the path itself. It's it's not like okay, it has an ending, and when I reach this, it's done. No, it's uh, I have this goal. I meet this goal, and it's uh, the nice thing about it is that when you meet that goal. Then suddenly you you have other like other path that opens when you reach that point that you wanted to reach, maybe technically speaking or harmonically speaking or I don't know, just interacting with others. Uh, so you became more responsive, but then you open another door to developing some other things that you uh, couldn't uh, acknowledge when you weren't in this in that point that you have reached already. Uh, Nero, one one question that I would like to ask in the poll is that uh, if any of the of the persons that are, that are uh, accompanying us here is reading a book, any book, okay. just I don't know a novel or a, I don't know whatever. Okay, I'm asking here, uh, adding here in the poll in the poll section, you can ask this question that Bruno is asking. If you are if you are you reading a book. So, uh, so uh, actually, yeah. it's now 50-50. <laughs> I'm really curious about it uh, because, at least for me, one one thing to to cope with frustration is uh, jumping to other uh, art forms, like like a novel or 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 even watching a series. I mean. Uh, <laughs> At least for me now, uh, watching a series, if it's uh, like a really specific series, you can learn as much as you can learn from a, from a really great novel. Uh, mm -hmm. And that kind of, of learning uh, can also be reflected in your playing. For me, uh, now I'm watching Mr. Robot. It's a really nice <laughs> series. Uh, and it's basically about a, a. I mean, the bottom is a hacker that wants to change the world for the better, while he copes with drug addiction and uh, some psychological issue. But the the really nice thing about this series is the way the the story is told. Uh, so they really play a lot with formats and with ways of of telling a story. Uh, and with with formats, uh, I mean that I don't know. Sometimes they uh, so it's kind of a drama if you like. But sometimes I know the, the they play with okay. Now it's a sitcom, and we, we portray all the things that it was a, like a Full House uh, episode. Or, <laughs> they really play with formats a lot, and actually, at okay. least for me. It opens my mind a lot when I'm composing, for example. I mean, if, if in the audiovisual uh, world you you can play with these ways of making a story, that kind of freedom that you felt just watching a series can also be applied in making a composition. I mean, that uh, type of freedom that, that you have experienced can also be put in harmony, and that's actually the, the thing that I'm that I'm exploring a little bit when I'm composing. Uh, for example, just writing a blues, uh, I really push myself to 
not not have a like a forced melody because I, I really like to I know at least now I, I, I'm trying to write melodies that, that are really nice to hear but with a harmony I'm like I don't know I'm, I'm just having fun uh, exploring that, that kind of, of things and I think that kind of freedom can also be sensed in, in novels so uh, because when when you're a musician uh, music can be really overwhelming sometimes so I think it, it's really nice and really helpful to uh, get your brain into some other things that kind of opens up your your space a lot uh, for example, watching a series or, or reading a book. That's why I I ask is if anyone have, uh, was reading a book. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, here we have the results. Uh, well, three people had voted, but uh, two of them uh, uh, are reading a book. So cool. Yeah, uh, I would like to switch now to Diego. Where, yeah. where can you talk about this coping with frustration and how has it affected you? Yeah, I has. mean, uh, yeah, 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 well, uh, of course it has. Uh, as I said, not being able to play with people is the, the it's one of the most frustrating things that you can, you can experience being a musician to me. Uh, I luckily, I don't know if luckily, but luckily uh, I had a lot of stuff to study for my conservatory. So uh, I could keep myself occupied, you know, uh, always doing stuff, uh, always studying. And turns out there's a great book that I have to study for my history of, of music exam. That is a, is a great book about the forms of a song, how a song is composed and uh, all this uh, 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 formal stuff. It's, it's just formal stuff and uh, but it's it's written really nicely, so it's uh, it's a great book. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So um, I mean, I'm reading this book not just to study it, but because it's uh, it's it's a really nice book, and it, it's it's helping me, you know, staying inspired. I think the the most important thing is to stay yeah. inspired. So whenever I feel like uh, I don't know if I'm I don't know why I'm studying certain things, I just go on YouTube and look for my favorite drummers and uh, it always happens yeah. that I find in their playing what I'm what I have to study so it's mm -hmm. it's always a matter of staying inspired to me it's uh, it's the most important thing and super helpful I mean with all the the, the media that that we have uh, this that is available and it's it's a great hand I think okay cool yeah uh, I think Fede? for me for me it's that's basically it like staying um busy with some something like to avoid this like uh whirlpool of emotions coming from frustration anxiety like um i i don't really read that much so i'm the one that said <laughs> i'm not reading a book <laughs> but i've been reading a lot of stuff like smaller things um for my thesis um like not a whole book but just like chapters of a lot of books um but other than that like yeah just keeping busy with staying in touch with friends that can like really refresh my my motivation um and yeah just consuming some form of media that i enjoy some movies or series there are some yeah i've been consuming so much stuff right now like hearing so much music um i'm super grateful for that um like having this this time is i mean it has its ups and downs like not ha not being able to see anyone like face to face is horrible but you can you now have all this time for yourself that you can focus on some so many things so yeah just staying inspired like like diego said um just listening to music uh, talking to friends watching tv shows and and like hearing what the message on th of the show is and just trying to translate it to to your to how you're feeling or 
or yeah or how you can trans uh how you can make that um go from just a feeling to uh, uh a song or something like that yeah i i think it's it's hard for me but yeah. but yeah like just staying busy with things that you can detect are good for you right even video games like uh, i've been spamming some video games uh, even though i have to do my thesis but just like that pulls me out of the anxiety moment right like mm. just talking to a friend trash talking to a friend while playing video games is like <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's just so relaxing you're you're so friendly so informal you're not thinking about it right so yeah, yeah, I think that's what helps me out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think Fede that you have talked about some very important points. That is that uh for example, that we now have all this time to do things. Um the, the first point I wanted to talk about is this this uh pressure we have to be productive. Everyone is yeah. talking about oh you you have no all this time, you you should you should do this, you should do that, but I think that it's very important to to respect your own process. Uh, yeah. If if I think about myself like uh, three months ago or two months ago, I was like sleeping most of the time, and and I was fine with it. You know, uh, I I understand that it was part of the process. But for example, now uh, there is this uh, second point that I wanted to talk about that is um, learning. I think that when you are very engaged in learning th something new that interests you, it, it doesn't have to be some something music re related. But for example, mm -hmm. I, I I came across this book that talks about how to build an audience. That actually I'm generating more knowledge, uh, music focused on how to build audiences, and mm -hmm. and this book has engaged me so much that I I, st I stopped sleeping that much, and now I'm like hyper uh, Bruner knows it i am hyper productive right now i'm like working like 16 hours a day uh <laughs> so, sometimes i even don't sleep that is it's not so balanced but but yeah no you yeah i have to sleep yeah i know I uh, super <laughs> super engaged in something. so so uh, my approach has changed uh and the, the third thing is that um that helps me a lot and actually is making these times more uh more available to cope with is uh like that the fact that music is a very effective time machine uh i don't know if you know it but if if you is if someone asks you about your favorite music you're probably going to think in terms of now but if you look back you have had uh, so much favorite music Mm -hmm. uh, across time so i'm i am starting to look for music i like like for example 15 years ago or 10 mm -hmm. years ago i don't know and and i was like oh wow i like this and i i go to blink 182 some 41 and that kind of bands that that i really dig uh back then and and it's it's okay and, and i'm really enjoying that time so so that's an another um i, I know i think a resource that that uh people can can exploit i think yeah so, I, i wanted to yeah. say something like what bruno said and what you are saying is like it's it's endless you know it's more right now with all the content you have all the media um and all the accessibility and speed like it's about i think it's more about staying focused and motivated more and like staying creative just the just um expands your array of possibilities like you can do so much with so little like just um like developing a, a musical exercise a simple one can lead you to so many things like i mean it's it's never ending you know like bruno yes. said like you just have to enjoy the ride Yes, try to enjoy and, it as much as possible, and and also uh, we are uh, as artists not 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 so only thinking about music. Uh, is is like considering or taking into account that uh, we are very in touch with our feelings. 
So if we if we start to feel bad or we start to feel frustrated, it, it's probably going to impact us more than an average person. And if yeah. we also, if we feel better and we feel like engaged in th something is going to have a much more positive impact than the average person. Because we musicians are gods and no one can say it. <laughs> <can> say it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, you say so. Very, <laughs> I mean, I, I, to keep it lightly, to keep it lightly, yes. <laughs> one thing that Neil said about uh, coping with frustration, uh, I think one really important thing that, that Diego just said is that uh, the importance about going back to your heroes when you when you want to be motivated again. Uh, and that's, that's really true. I mean, wow, man. <laughs> There was these uh, days that I, I uh, was like uh, losing the focus into what I was practicing or whatever, and I just went out to listen. What about me, Snarky Puppy? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Here I, we go again. I, I almost cried. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Here we go again. It was like that. I, mean, uh, I think that it's really important to, to go back to your own personal heroes. Uh, even if you're a drummer, a guitar player, a singer, the, the really important thing to hear again uh, those musicians that really motivate you is really an important thing nowadays. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, well, guys, it, it has been amazing talking with you. I, I think that um, here at the Jingle Project, we are, we are starting to to have much more of these forums, you know, in, in, in which musicians can can talk about the fact that we are gods. So it's very important to have these conversations. And, sure. <laughs> and, and, I, and I, I would really like to, to, to try to have these conversations more often, you know, uh, because um, there is much more, much more uh, talks about how is this affecting us economically, uh, oh, we can't play live. We are losing money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we, we are not talking about also these things, you know. How how does this change our lifestyles? How uh, how are we feeling about this? What resources do we have as musicians? And, and I think that it's very important to have these conversations. Okay, so uh, this is recorded. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, this is going to be posted in the, the Jingo Project channel. Uh, I, I would like to, to invite to the people that are, are still watching right now to to please uh, join the Jingo Project. We are going to have more, much more of these conversations. And and thank you, Bruno. Thank you, Diego. Thank you, Fede. Thank it you has very been much. Amazing. You guys. Thank uh, you, Gabriel. Yeah, let's let's keep in touch and please stay safe. You too. Yeah. Thank you. So bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.